My next tip when it comes to accountability is research who you're dating. Okay, you should absolutely research the person that you're dating. And no, I'm not talking about going through every post on his mother or his child's mother's social media. That's crazy, okay? I'm talking about looking and seeing if the things that he's telling you are aligned. Check out if he has a LinkedIn. Like he says he's a professional and he has such and such business. Check out his LinkedIn. Is it up to date? Do you see that he has these type of connections? If he's not a person that's active on LinkedIn, does he have a business website that you can actually look at? You can definitely look at Google, put someone's name and information in there and see what comes up. But you you could also get a background check. If you're thinking about being in a serious relationship with someone, if you're even just going in isolated circumstances with a person or isolated places, you need to know who this person is. There's nothing wrong with doing that because all you're doing is protecting yourself and knowing who the person really is that you're bringing into your life. And hopefully they're running one on you as well. Another thing that you could definitely do is there's an app called True People Search. Um, you can use that app to actually look up a person based on their telephone number, uh, based on their name, I think. I don't know if date of birth. They have several different things, but you can research that person and it will at least give you some information about previous places where maybe they've lived also people who they're associated with there's nothing wrong with you going and getting that information now if you start pulling up on these different addresses and stuff hey Nia no Nia did not tell you to do that all right that's crazy okay you're just simply fact checking is what we're gonna call it okay fact check the brother that's all something that it's so important for us to remember is that you can accept an apology but not the person meaning if someone treats you badly you can say yes i accept the fact that you are apologizing to me that you are saying that you did something wrong because understand that a lot of abusers are very very quick to later on come back and say oh baby i'm so sorry i never should have done that to you you know how much i love you i love you more than anybody else no Nobody will love you the way that I love you. No, you can accept the fact that this person wants to apologize, but that doesn't mean that you accept that person. That doesn't mean that you ingratiate that person back into your life. That doesn't mean that you keep that person around. You still have to be able to say, okay, thank you. I appreciate the apology and good riddance, like peace out. Like you are for someone else, but you are not for me. Another tip for you is that if you plan to leave someone, okay, this is a big one. I don't know why women continuously say to a man, I'm going to leave you. I'm leaving on Thursday. I'm taking the kids and you're never going to see us again. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> like you don't need to tell him keep it to yourself okay and I'm not trying to say this in a preachy type of way I'm just saying like seriously this can really really help you like if you're planning to leave someone then what you need to do is get your ducks in a row and don't let that person know do the move when the person is gone when they're not at the home like any other time or if you have to do it when the person is there make sure that you have three to four other people on site who are there with you you can also call the police and let them know that you're going to be moving out and what the circumstances are there are um, resources that are out here to help you but you have to actually utilize those resources but what you don't need to do is let that man know exactly the date and time in which you're leaving because what do they do the people who are super super crazy the murderers out here the killers out here oh I'm gonna get her before she goes okay you're not gonna leave me you won't have a life without me but you've already let him know exactly what you're doing so please be so careful about telling someone what your intentions are and what you're planning to do once you move, make sure that you're moving into an undisclosed location, okay? Make sure that no one knows where you are besides like your close family and maybe don't even tell mutual friends. People that you both know don't need to know where you're actually living because it could slip out. That person could have your address in their phone. They're hanging out with this individual. They leave their phone there. The person picks up the phone. They access the information. Now they know where you're located. Another tip of advice is that 
once you've actually moved out of the home, if you do have children with this person, then you all should meet at the police station for your exchanges of your children. The other thing is, I have read about several situations where children have been killed by their father um, after the relationship has ended because they're so upset about the divorce. So if you have an inkling that something could happen to your child, please get a protective order immediately. Please get a lawyer. Please go to the courts. Please do something, hotline this person so that you are not putting your child in a dangerous predicament. And ultimately it's not your fault if something happens to them because the father is supposed to still protect their child. But I know how I would be if that was my kid going somewhere with someone that I don't even feel safe with. It's not going to happen. Like I'm going to have to figure out a way so that my child doesn't have to go there. So definitely I'm not an attorney. Please consult a lawyer or a child's advocate so that you can get more information on how to protect your children. But change your passcodes on anything that that person would have had access to. You can also put an alert on your social security number, right? So that this person doesn't have access to your information so that they cannot also abuse you in an economic way. Make sure that you have locks on everything. Like you'd be surprised the things that people do when relationships end. I wanna ask you all, what step are you planning on to take next to ensure your safety when you are dating or in any type of relationship? What are you going to do to protect yourself? Let me know. Let's get into the comments because there's probably things that I didn't mention. And so if you have a really, really good safety tip, please share it with us. Okay. This is how we can all learn and grow.